this thing just came in the mail. Um, another unboxing here of what I what I got. Part one of uh, sort of a decent sized splurge I recently went on. Uh, felt just felt right <laughs> to get some more. It's been a while since I I went nuts, but uh, yeah, this is this is part one. So let me pop it open and start opening it up. All right, here we are. Super thick bubble tape or bubble wrap. And this is what we got today. It is the Chicago Metro line. Um, looked really cool. Better, better looking setup than Amtrak. I love the bi-level uh, coach cars. I think that's real nice. And I'll be immensely impressed if uh, that is actually made of aluminum or something, but something tells me it's still plastic. Uh, but you get the engine, three cars with this guy uh, from Kato. So you know it's, you know, quality. And I thought about getting the like, four add-on cars, or maybe it was three, I can't quite remember. But I thought I'd hold off for now, uh, at least get this set for, for first, and then if I really like these bi-level cars, uh, I can splurge for the extra the extra, the extra ones. Uh, this one I ordered from a an actual dealer. They had a decent price on it, so I thought I'd go for it because I've kind of been wanting something like this for a while, but I don't have anything else, anything like it really. I mean, all my American cars are not modern, <laughs> and uh, I mean, what are your choices today, really? It's Amtrak or, or this, which, is this part of Amtrak? I can't remember. I think it's its own separate thing. Uh, I do know it's in Chicago. Uh, that is for sure. But I don't... I think, I think it is separate from Amtrak, Amtrak as like a metro, you know, city line. So I'm gonna head and just keep on opening this thing. Let's see how to do it. There we go. Set you aside, take this little plastic thing off. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty nice. Uh, I've seen other versions of this with like more of a diesel, like freighter type of engine up front, and I just didn't like those. I think I think this more streamlined look is a lot better. Let's take it out and look at it further. Eep. Here's the engine. It's got some nice weight to it. Uh, cool color scheme. Like I said, I like the I like the more streamlined look than the regular diesels you get. Looks like it comes with a standard Kato coupler, which is great because it fits all my other ones. Then this it looks like a sticker, but it's actually rigid and. Uh, protruding so that's good even though it looks it looks like it's just a flat sticker <laughs> from just eyeballing it uh, but yeah pretty cool looks good like I said I'm, I like unique and different things than I don't that I don't have um, so this is definitely one of them uh, I noticed I don't know if this is I assume true to form but the American flag on this side you know goes as it should but on the flip side uh, they usually put that you know, the other way, so that the American flag is, you know, going into the wind, as opposed to backwards, if it's like that. So, I, I, like I said, I gotta assume that's the way it is in real life, but just a little thing I just noticed. All right, so there's the engine. Let's look at one of these cars. And yes, I can already tell they are plastic, even though it would have been extremely easy to make these out of, a, you know, stamped aluminum or something. So um, maybe it is keeps the weight down. Maybe I don't know. I know you can put lights in these. Uh, I don't think it comes with lights already. 
So that's something to debate and think about um, as I get into this. But they're really light. Um, and the windows have like a green tint. So that's kind of cool. And I think it's going to look really good uh, going around the track. So why don't I just move right into that bit. Trusty re-railer. I guess cars go on first. Look at that. Smooth like butter. There we go. Cool. Zoom out. I want to say all these cars, probably apart from the road number, uh, look the exact same. There's no difference between them. Um, one side doesn't have any windows right here, so if these other two, if I flip them, they look pretty much mirror image. All right, now we like this. And, oop, I think it did it wrong. There we go. Probably from this angle, or maybe you can tell in the video or not, it almost looks like the, the engine's white, like up on top. But in reality, I think it's more of a silver or gray. As opposed to white, but yeah, looks pretty good. As is, except that there's only three cars. Um, you can get the expandable set. In fact, I saw in the back of the box, if you saw it earlier too, there's like the full readout of what I guess you can run this with. And it gets pretty big. You see this bottom one, uh, it says a long train for daylight rush hours. <laughs> so yeah, something to think about. Oh, there, I guess there's only three in that set I was looking at. I think it's that middle one. Maybe. No, because that's, that would be the three you get here. Hmm. I don't know. There's how you install the lights. So, good. <laughs> All the other instructions I've had are <laughs> Japanese. You know, from Kato. So, cool. All right. So, there it is on the rails. Which looks pretty good. Like I said. Uh, three might be enough. I mean, that's pretty, pretty decent. Uh, of course, I can connect them with my other Kato cars, but they're all from like you know the fifties, <laughs> error-wise. Let's start this puppy up and see what it's like. And we are away. Pretty cool. There's a bit of a crackling noise or something that the engine's making. It might be just because it's new. I gotta run it around some more. Come on. The camera does not want to work with me here. Got a good look. And uh, it's very un much unlike anything I have already. So that's, you know, I'm always looking for something different, like I said. And this is definitely in that category as uh, new and unique. And you know what? I just realized something. Uh, you know how I said all these cars are the same? Well, they're not. Because this back one uh, actually has lights on the back, as well as the fancy uh, red and white sticker, I guess. Because I don't think any of these other ones have it. They're meant to go in the middle of the train, whereas this is clearly the back, and I put it on backwards. So, <laughs> good to note. Uh, I will fix that in the future.
I will do a full review at some point, uh, possibly with the full extra cars that I might get <laughs> if it comes to it. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna have fun with this. And like I said, this is only part one of a multi-part, multi-phase uh, expansion, if you will. And if you saw my last video with the uh, Thomas art. <laughs> That's all part of it. So technically this is phase two, I guess, if that was phase one. But there's more in the mail coming and I'll do another unboxing uh, whenever that shows up. And that one's, that one's gonna be a big one. That's a, that's a multi-purchase. This was just a single thing from a single uh, dealer. But the one, the one coming next is, uh, it's gonna be a big one. So one more time, last view in motion. As we come on down the line and away.